Let's talk about Rocky. The movies are about an amateur boxer named Rocky Balboa, who unexpectedly rises to the top by beating the world champion boxer Apollo Creed. It's really easy to relate to these movies, since they're all about facing challenges in life. But what really makes these movies so special to me are the lovable characters. Rocky is an uneducated amateur boxer who works for a loan shark in the slums in Philadelphia. But he's really kind-hearted and good to everyone. All the main characters are great in each way, and it's exciting to see how they develop through the movies. Rocky is portrayed by Sylvester Stallone, who also wrote the story. He even directed four of the movies as well. The first Rocky movie also made Sylvester Stallone a well-known actor, and the movie even won three Oscars. The Rocky movies have always been some of my favorite movies, so I just had to go to Philadelphia, where most of the movies were shot, to track down the filming locations. Today there are eight Rocky movies, if you also count Creed 1 and 2. We're gonna go through the movies chronologically. So the first movie we're going to look at is the original Rocky movie from 1976. In the beginning of the movie, we see Rocky in a boxing fight with Spider Rico. After the fight, Rocky walks home through the streets of Philadelphia. He stops at a corner where singers perform the song Take You Back. This spot is located at the corner of Kensington Avenue and Tusculum Street in Philadelphia. The corner is still there, but unfortunately it's hard to recognize the location, since the building is no longer there. There's been a vacant lot for over 30 years now. The fire hydrant is still there, but other than that, the location is not very recognizable anymore. The song Take You Back was actually performed and composed by Sylvester Stallone's brother Frank Stallone, who is standing right there. Rocky walks home to his apartment, which is located at the end of the street, only 50 meters from the Take You Back corner. And the exact address is 1818 Tusculum Street. This is the apartment where Rocky lives in Rocky 1 and Rocky 2. And the location hasn't changed much. Even the numbers on the apartment pretty much looks the same. Rocky's apartment is seen many times in both Rocky 1 and Rocky 2, and also a bit in Rocky Balboa. And probably the most memorable scene is when Rocky is on a date with Adrian in the first movie and Rocky wants to invite her inside. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Hey, you wanna come inside? No, I gotta go. And then there's this scene later in the movie when Rocky has started training for the fight. Go! Oh, I, got, I got another surprise for you. What? The Some of the buildings have changed a bit, but the location is still very recognizable. Rocky works for a loan shark called Gazzo, and later in the movie, Gazzo is angry that Rocky didn't break the thumb of a guy who owes him money. So Gazzo and Rocky get out of a car to talk about it. This scene was shot on Gurney Street, between Sterner Street and Lehigh Avenue, which is located only 200 meters from Rocky's apartment. This is the street where Rocky talks with Gazzo, but unfortunately, the street has completely changed. Uh, the only thing you can really recognize is the road. You didn't break this guy's thumb like I told you. Well, how do you know I didn't break it? You don't think I hear things? After the scene with Gazzo, Rocky goes to Mighty Mix Gym, where he trains as a boxer. Mighty Mix Gym is one of the most iconic locations from the Rocky movies, and it's seen in every Rocky movie, except for Rocky IV and Creed II. The address for the building used as Mighty Mix Gym is 2147 North Front Street, which is only one kilometer from the last location. This is one of the most iconic locations from the movies. Over there on the corner, that's where Mickey's gym used to be. Unfortunately, the sign for Mighty Mix Gym is no longer there. It was only put up during filming. Hey, Rock, how you doing, man? Right, right. Good. Hey, Mick was looking for you up there, man. Only the exterior shots of Mighty Mix Gym were shot here. The interior shots were shot in Main Street Gym in Los Angeles, which was demolished in 1984. Right across the street from Mighty Mix Gym is where the pet shop is located, where Adrian works. The pet shop is seen in four of the Rocky movies, but unfortunately the building was demolished in 2017, so today it's just a vacant lot. Later in the movie, Rocky goes to the Lucky 7 Tavern, and before entering, he helps a drunk get inside, who is played by Lloyd Kaufman by the way. The scene was shot on 2800 Orm Street in Philadelphia, which is about one kilometer from the last location. 
Unfortunately, the building was demolished in the 1980s, so this location is also just a vacant lot, but you can still recognize some of the surroundings. In the next scene, Rocky leaves the tavern and walks past the atomic hockey shop and finds little Marie in bad company, so he follows her home while trying to give her some advice on life. The atomic hockey shop is located on 12th Street and Cantrell Street in Philadelphia, which is 8 kilometers from the Lucky 7 Tavern. This is where the atomic hockey shop used to be, and this location has definitely changed a lot too. It's no longer a shop, it's just an ordinary house. Well, this isn't fair. Guess I'll go all the way around. Hey, that don't matter you're 12. It don't matter. You don't really have to be one. You just act like one and that's it. You hang out with nice people, you get nice friends. You understand? You hang out with smart people, you get smart friends. You hang out with yo-yo people, you get yo-yo friends. It's pretty easy to find little Marie's house if you just watch the scene of the movie and follow the same path. But the exact address is 1124 Jackson Street. I hope you ain't going to what was I gonna say? You hope I don't keep acting like a whore, I'll turn into one, right? Yeah, something like that. Good night, Rocky. Good night, Marie. Take care, you know? Hey, Rocky. Yo. Screw you, creepo. Later in the movie, Rocky is going on a date with Adrian, who lives with Rocky's friend, Polly. So he goes there with Polly to pick her up. Polly and Adrian's house is located back in North Philadelphia, 8 kilometers from Little Marie's house. And the exact address is 2822 Rose Hill Street. In number 2822, that's where Polly lives with Adrian. Unfortunately, the house has changed a lot since then, but you can still recognize a lot of the other buildings. Hey, will you forget about Gazzo, huh? Hey, don't ask nobody twice. Don't ask nobody twice. Stay away, baby. <laughs> Hey, your sister, you sure your sister knows I'm coming? Yeah, 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 she's very excited. Yeah. I'm not sure if the interior scenes was actually shot inside the house or in a studio, but the house is a private residence, so we couldn't get inside, of course. Rocky and Adrian then go on a date, and Rocky wants to take her ice skating. The ice skating rink is closed, so Rocky pays a man for letting them ice skate alone for 10 minutes. It's supposed to be in Philadelphia, but the scene was actually shot in Los Angeles. So we have to travel almost 4,000 kilometers to get to the next location. The ice skating scene was shot on 500 Broadway in Santa Monica, California. Unfortunately, the building is no longer an ice skating rink. Today, it's a store selling furniture. So we're now in front of the building that was once an ice rink. This is where Rocky had his first date with Adrian. And even though there's no ice rink in there anymore, you can still recognize the interior because the structure hasn't really changed since then. Yo, it looks kind of quiet, you know? I think it's closed. No, I think maybe we're just early or something like that, you know? You! Yo! We're closed! What? I said we're closed! It may not be an ice rink anymore, but it's not hard to recognize the location, since the building hasn't changed much. The railing is still there, which is pretty cool, and the ceiling is very recognizable. Hey, look, it's after 6 o'clock. It's Thanksgiving. That's why there's nobody here. You can just imagine the ice rink being right here. <laughs> My mother, she said the opposite thing. What'd she say? What'd she say the opposite? You know, last fight I had, I had with this guy named Spider Rico. Yeah. He bust my head up there. You see that scar? Later in the movie, Rocky meets with Gazzo to talk about his fight with Apollo Creed. They talk at a restaurant called Pat's King of Steaks, and the scene was shot back in Philadelphia. So we're going back to the East Coast. The exact address of the location is 1237 East Passyunk Avenue, which is in South Philadelphia. The restaurant is still there, and surprisingly, it's still called Pat's King of Steaks like in the movie. This is Pat's King of Steaks. A small scene was filmed right here when Raggy talks to Gazzo again. But unfortunately, this location has changed a lot too. Listen, the, the reason I brought you is because I, 
I want to know if you got any money for training expenses, eh? The restaurant has changed a lot since the filming took place in 1976, so it's hard to recognize this spot. But it's not hard to find out exactly where Rocky and Gazzo stood, because there's a plaque on the ground which says, On this spot stood Sylvester Stallone filming the great motion picture Rocky, November 21st, 1976. Before Rocky's big fight with Apollo Creed, we see the classic training montage of Rocky getting in shape and ready for the fight. There is a training montage like this in every Rocky movie. In the beginning of the training montage of the first movie, we see Rocky running through the Italian market in Philadelphia. The Italian market is located in South Philadelphia and it's only about 500 meters from Pat's King of Steaks. This is the Italian market. It is usually seen during the training montages in the Rocky movies, but it looks like the buildings have changed a lot over the years, so it's pretty much impossible to find the exact filming locations. Since Rocky was a low-budget movie, the film crew went there to shoot without permits and without clearing the streets. So the guy tossing Rocky an orange was a spontaneous thing that happened during filming. The Italian market is featured not only in the first Rocky movie, but also in Rocky II, Rocky V, Rocky Balboa and in Creed. But let's go back to the training montage of the first movie. Right after the scene at the Italian market, we see Rocky running next to a bridge and a river. It's a very nice spot, so I just had to visit this location. The scene was shot at Kelly Drive and Brewery Hill Drive, which is 5 kilometers from the Italian market. It's pretty easy to find, and you can park right next to the location. The location hasn't changed much, but it looks like the rock on the right has been cut since then, so the road would be wider along the rock. At the end of the training montage, we see Rocky running up the steps at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. This is absolutely the most iconic scene from the movie, and it's also used for the poster. The Philadelphia Museum of Art is located about 2 kilometers southeast from the last location, and the exact address of the museum is 2600 Benjamin Franklin Parkway in Philadelphia. We're now at the Museum of Art in Philadelphia, and this is probably the most iconic location from the Rocky movies. This spot is seen in almost all of the Rocky movies, and usually during the training montage. And in the end of the sequence, we always see Rocky running up these steps and raising his arms over his head. One cool thing about this location is that when you're on top of the steps, you can see the footprints of Rocky. So you can literally stand in the footprints of Rocky himself. I'm not the only Rocky fan visiting this location. The steps is a big tourist attraction in Philadelphia. Every day there are people running up these steps and raising their arms in the air just like Rocky. This iconic location is seen in every Rocky movie except for Rocky IV. In Rocky 3, we see a ceremony at the top of the steps, where a statue of Rocky is revealed. Even though the statue was just a movie prop, it was made in bronze and weighed 2000 pounds. The statue was only situated at the top of the steps during filming, so what happened to it afterwards? After filming, the statue was moved to the front of the Philadelphia Spectrum, the arena where Rocky fought Apollo Creed in the first movie. But in 2006, the statue was returned to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. It wasn't placed at the top of the steps though, but in a grassy area at the foot of the steps to the right of the museum. Just next to the steps we find the Rocky statue. It has been moved around a bit since filming, but now it's here at its rightful place. It's really cool that the Rocky statue is here, and it makes it even more fun to visit this location. When the statue was unveiled here in 2006, there was a ceremony with Sylvester Stallone and the debut of the first trailer for Rocky Balboa, along with the showing of the first Rocky movie. The statue is seen again in Creed 2 from 2018, when Ivan Drago and his son go to Philadelphia. And this time, the statue is located in the grassy area where it is today. I'm not the only person who has made a video about the filming locations of the Rocky movies. Filmmaker James Rolfe of Cinemassacre Productions, who's also known as the Angry Video Game Nerd, made a great documentary back in 2008 called Rocky Jumped a Park Bench, where he tracks down a lot of the Rocky locations. And while I was in Philadelphia, I met up with James Rolfe at the Museum of Art to talk about Rocky. 
I'm joined by filmmaker James Rolfe of Cinemassacre Productions. Uh, you live here in Philadelphia. Always been a Philly guy, yeah. yeah. You have a vast knowledge about the Rocky movies and uh, you made a documentary yourself mm -hmm. about the filming locations of Rocket like we're doing. So I wanted to know, since you live here, mm -hmm. um, how, how big a deal is the Rocky movies to the city? Oh, it seems like a really big deal. Um, I, I underestimated that when I was younger. I thought, well, they're just movies. I don't think uh, most people probably don't um, uh, think about them very much. But there, there's a whole book dedicated to uh, people's, uh, different people's personal stories and coming to the steps. So people vi vi visit the spot from all over the world, uh, like yourselves, and it's pretty crazy. Every time I come by, there's always people going up to the statue and you're know, doing the pose. I came all the way from Denmark to track down these locations. And I do it because I love movies and um, it sort of brings me closer to the movies I love. And it's fun to, it's sort of like a treasure hunt to find these locations. Yeah. So, so I'm curious to know what made you make a documentary about the filming locations? Oh, um, I mean, one thing was convenience that I was uh, pretty close to it all. So I was al already had a good step ahead that I was familiar with a lot of the spots. So that made it a lot easier. Also that the movies were really special to me. And um, I think the movies, the whole Rocky series is all about facing challenges. So um, I've had a lot of challenges in the city, uh, you know, going to school and, and, and accomplishing things. Whenever you feel a sense of accomplishment in anything, you can kind of um, relate it to, to Rocky's character. One question I always get asked a lot when I do these uh, filming, filming location mm -hmm. videos is, how do I find these locations? And it is a lot of work and a lot of research, mm -hmm. but obviously I'm not having a hard time finding the Rocky locations because you provided me with all your research. <laughs> uh, but was it hard for you? Uh, yeah, back then there wasn't as much information. I remember um, the, the most, there was one location which I discovered on my own pretty much. Um, um, you know, I searched everything that was available on the internet at the time. But the location for the Atomic Hoagie Shop, th there was a lot of different um, false leads on the internet. But I went to the film office here, so the, the Greater Philadelphia Film Office actually gave us a list of locations that they still had on file. And one of them was a location at 12th and Cantrell, and they didn't know what it was, and neither did we. So we went there and looked at it, and we're looking around at this intersection, which I don't see anything that I, I recognize in Rocky. Later on, I looked at the tape and was like, wait a minute, that's the Atomic Hoagie shop. The Rocky II house I couldn't find. Now that's, that's been discovered uh, yeah. long since then. So actually, I'm really glad you're doing this. Now there, now there yeah. can be an update on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being a part of it. Sure, yeah. <laughs> The climax of the first Rocky movie is when Rocky has to fight Apollo Creed. The fight is supposed to take place in the Spectrum Arena in Philadelphia, but the building is never seen in the movie and the interior scenes were shot in Los Angeles. I still wanted to visit the Spectrum Arena, but unfortunately it was demolished in 2011. It's too bad that a lot of filming locations get demolished, when clearly they attract a lot of tourists and movie enthusiasts like myself. When I went to Tunisia to visit the Star Wars filming locations, it was also really sad to see all these locations getting left behind to deteriorate. But I was glad to find out that fans have been restoring some of them. This is a topic I also wanted to talk to James Rolfe about. The art museums always had um, the luxury, I think, of everybody knows this as a Rocky location. And it's a great museum too, like, like Rocky <laughs> says at the end of 5. He's like, I never knew there were valuable pictures in this building. But uh, this is the spot that seems to be the most preserved, the most recognized. Yeah. But as for all those other locations, like the gym and the pet shop, which is gone now, as you said, um, those ones, it seems they've always been neglected. Um, and they're off the beaten track. They're not in the nicest area of town. Just very, uh, you know, run down, um, a lot of dilapidated buildings. But every time Stallone comes back to make another Rocky movie, he always revisits those spots. And then afterwards, it, they just go back to being neglected. You always think that, why couldn't they do something with it, you know? Couldn't he just leave Mickey's sign on the building and they keep taking it off, you know? <laughs> It's time to look at the Rocky sequels. There's not that many locations to find from the sequels, since most of the locations are the same ones used for the first Rocky movie. This is Rocky II from 1979. In the beginning of the movie, Rocky and Adrian get married and they also move into a new apartment. This is one of the locations James Rolfe wasn't able to find when he made his documentary back in 2008. But thanks to the Rocky fans on the internet, we now know where it is. The exact address for the apartment is 2313 South Lambert Street, which is about 5 kilometers from the Museum of Art. In Rocky II, Rocky and Adrian move to a new house, and it's right here at number 2313.
It's very easy to recognize this location. The street and the buildings haven't changed much since the movie came out in 1979. You okay, Bucky? Nice house. I'd say it's a nice house in general, wouldn't you? Huh? Look at these bricks, Adrian. My husband's an expert on bricks. Are these new bricks? Yeah. Oh, this is a very solid neighborhood. Yeah? You know, I like this. Very I nice. like these bricks. They're very nicely done here. They look very solid. Nice. nice mailbox. I like this mailbox. You know, these numbers almost add up to nine here. I like that. That's a good omen. The interior scenes were also shot here on the same address, but it's a private residence, so we couldn't get inside. Later in the movie, Rocky starts training for the second fight against Apollo Creed, and we see the classic training montage of Rocky getting in shape for the fight. He runs through the Italian market again, and of course ends at the steps of the Museum of Art. This time, he's also seen running at Independence Hall, which is most famous for being the building where the United States Declaration of Independence was signed. And the address for Independence Hall is 520 Chestnut Street, which is about 4 kilometers from the last location. This is Independence Hall. People mainly come here to see the Independence Hall or the Liberty Bell. But this is also a Rocky location. During the training montage in Rocky 2, we see Rocky running here and jumping park benches. Let's take a look at Rocky 3 now from 1982. After Mickey dies in the movie, Apollo Creed takes Rocky to Los Angeles to train him for the fight against Clubber Lang. When they arrive in Los Angeles, they check into a hotel called Hotel Lorraine. So we're going back to Los Angeles again, which is almost 4,000 kilometers from Philadelphia. And the address of the location is 241 East 5th Street. Unfortunately, the street has had major renovations since filming took place. It's almost impossible to recognize the street and the buildings at this location. But you can still recognize the entrance of the hotel, which still says Lorraine. Only now, there's an I added to the name. During Rocky's training, Apollo takes Rocky to a beach where they have a race in the sand. This scene was shot on Santa Monica Beach at 200 Santa Monica Pier, which is 24 kilometers from the last location. We're now at this beach in Santa Monica. And this is where Rocky races Apollo Creed during his training. And of course you can't recognize the sand or the ocean, but you can recognize some of the cliffs in the background. Ready? Set. Go! Go on, come on! Stay, stay. Let's have a look at the next Rocky movie. The next one in line is Rocky IV from 1985. But unfortunately, there are not many locations to find. In this movie, Rocky goes to Russia to train and fight Ivan Drago. The scenes where Rocky trains in Russia was actually filmed in Jackson Hole in the state of Wyoming. We weren't sure of the exact filming location, so we decided not to visit this place. We tried to find Rocky's mansion though from Rocky IV. In the movie, the mansion is supposed to be in Philadelphia, but it's actually situated in Los Angeles. And the address is 56 Fremont Place in Los Angeles. We went there, and even though we knew exactly where it was, we weren't able to get any near the mansion, because it's in a secure gated community, so we couldn't even access the street. We asked the guards at the gate if we were able to go to the mansion somehow, but they couldn't allow us that unfortunately. But we were able to get a glimpse of the house when we had to make a U-turn at the gate. Let's move on and take a look at Rocky V from 1990. Again, we've already seen most of the locations in this movie, since most of them are also used in the other Rocky movies. But there's a couple of new locations to be found. When Rocky becomes bankrupt and they have to auction off their mansion and all their stuff, Rocky goes to a bar called Andy's Bar. So we're going back to Philadelphia again. The location for Andy's Bar is 2147 North Front Street. We've already been on this location, because the building used as Mighty Makes Gym is right across the street. And this is Andy's that we see in Rocky V. It's also where Tommy Gunn challenges Rocky to fight. This location is very easy to recognize. The building and the street haven't changed much. I don't know if it has ever been a bar, but today it's a pizza restaurant. And the entrance is now on the other side of the building. I'm not sure if the interior scenes at Andy's bar was actually filmed here inside the same building, or if it was filmed elsewhere. We went inside to take a look, and the owner of the restaurant was kind enough to let us film inside but it looks nothing like the interior scenes from the movie. Mighty Mix Gym is to be found right across the street as I mentioned, and it's right here on the street that Rocky fights Tommy Gunn at the end of the movie. 
After Rocky and Adrian are bankrupt and they move into Polly's house, their son Robert has to go to a new school where he's having a hard time fitting in. The scenes with Robert's school was filmed at Kirkbride School, which is at 1501 South 7th Street in Philadelphia, which is 6 kilometers from the last location. This is the street where Rocky follows his son to his new school. And the school is right there and it's called Kirkbride School. And the fence is even still there. Sometimes you make me feel very stupid. Why? Why? Because you're smarter than me and that's a fact. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. It's like every day you learn something new and every day I forget something new. But <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, kid. Here's the front door. I'll see you later. I see they patched up the hole so we can't get in. Let's move on to the sixth Rocky movie called Rocky Balboa, which is from 2006. Again, there's a lot of reused locations in this movie too, which we've already seen. But there's also a lot of new locations to be found. In the beginning of the movie, we see that Rocky now lives in a new house together with Polly. The house is located at 3089 Emerald Street in North Philadelphia, which is actually less than a kilometer from Rocky's first apartment. This is where Rocky and Polly lives in Rocky Balboa. The interior scenes were also shot here in the same house, but it's a private residence, so we could only see it from the outside. In the very next scene, we see Rocky at a cemetery, where he's visiting his wife Adrian, who has sadly passed away by this point in the story. The scenes were shot at Laurel Hill Cemetery, which is at 3822 Ridge Avenue in Philadelphia. Laurel Hill Cemetery is quite big. It's a grassy area over one kilometer wide, so it's quite difficult to find the exact spot where the scenes were shot. Luckily, the people working at the office were very helpful. They gave us a map over the cemetery and showed us on the map exactly where we needed to go. So from the office at the entrance, it was just a 10 minute walk until we found the exact filming location. This is the resting place of Adrian Balboa and also Pauli in Creed. It's a little hard to recognize this location because the tree where Rocky puts his chair is no longer here. It was removed in 2016 due to deterioration. It may be a bit difficult to recognize the location, because the scenes were shot during winter and we were there during summer. So the open view is not there, but the gravestones still line up perfectly. Now, in the beginning of Rocky Balboa, Rocky sits around here and looks at Adrian's tombstone. But in the end of the movie, the tombstone is placed all down there. And I think it's a movie mistake. Obviously, they didn't film the two scenes at the same time. And they probably just forgot where they put the stone the first time. This is the scene from the next movie called Creed from 2015, when Rocky visits the cemetery again. In this movie, Polly has also passed away. And his gravestone is next to Adrian's gravestone. And this is the same spot as seen in the end of Rocky Balboa. But Adrian's gravestone has actually been moved a few meters since the last movie. Quite strange. And the confusion doesn't end there. In Creed 2 from 2018, the gravestone has been moved yet again. They have both been moved about 15 meters. So now there are three different locations for the gravestones. The coolest thing about this location is that next to the entrance, they actually kept the gravestone of Adrian Balboa although it's very far away from the spot where it was placed during filming. It is real stone, and I'm sure a lot of people coming here, if they haven't seen the Rocky movies, they think this is a real person, but it's just a fictional character. Let's move on to the next location. In this movie, Rocky has opened his own restaurant, which he named after his wife, Adrian. The restaurant is located at 1303 Dickinson Street in Philadelphia, which is about seven kilometers from Laurel Hill Cemetery. And it's also a restaurant in real life. It just has a different name. We're now at Adrian's, but in real life, it's called the Victor Cafe. The restaurant was also called the Victor Cafe during filming in 2006. The facade and the name was just changed during production and the building hasn't changed, so it's very recognizable. 
The interior scenes were also shot here inside the restaurant, and the owner was kind enough to let us film inside. Surprisingly, most of the decoration still looks the same as in the movie, so it really felt like visiting Adrian's. The restaurant is also seen in Creed from 2015 and Creed 2 from 2018. But let's go back to Rocky Balboa from 2006. Shortly after the scene at the restaurant, we see Rocky taking a trip down memory lane with Polly by visiting the abandoned pet shop where Adrian used to work, along with Mighty Mix Gym and Rocky's old apartment at 1818 Tusculum Street. They end up at the ice rink, where Rocky went on the first date with Adrian, which has supposedly been demolished by now. In real life, we know that the building is not demolished at all, even though it's not an ice rink anymore. The ice rink scenes were shot in Santa Monica, California, which we've already seen. But this location is in Philadelphia. I guess the filmmakers felt it left a greater emotional impact to let the building be demolished and let Rocky visualize the first date with Adrian. This vacant lot is located at 1556 North American Street in Philadelphia, which is about 5 kilometers from the last location. Luckily, you can just enter this vacant lot. There's not a fence around it or anything. So this is the abandoned ice rink from Rocky Balboa. Well, I'm glad they tore this ice rink down. Come on. You heard me. I'm happy they tore it apart. I don't know what used to be here, but I doubt this was ever an ice rink. First time I walked your sister across this ice, we was over there. She was nervous, but I weren't so great on the blades either. Ice is stupid. People standing on ice are more stupid. Afterwards, Rocky goes to the Lucky 7 Tavern to have a drink. Now, in the first Rocky movie, Rocky is also seen going to the Lucky 7 Tavern, but that was another location, which we've already seen. It just has the same name. The building used as the Lucky 7 Tavern in the first movie was demolished in the 1980s, as I mentioned earlier. By the way, just before Rocky goes to the Lucky 7 Tavern in Rocky Balboa, he even drives by the vacant lot where the original Lucky 7 Tavern used to be. I don't think it's a coincidence. He then goes to the new Lucky 7 Tavern, which actually looks very similar to Andy's bar, as seen in Rocky 5, just to make it more confusing. But that's another location, which we've already seen as well. The surroundings look very similar, and the two locations are only 1.3 kilometers apart. Anyway, the Lucky 7 Tavern seen in Rocky Balboa is located at 2800 D Street in Philadelphia, which is only about 2 kilometers from the previous location. And this is the Lucky 7 Tavern as seen in Rocky Balboa. The location hasn't changed much, it's still very recognizable. The only thing missing is the Lucky 7 Tavern sign. Inside the bar, Rocky meets little Marie, a character from the first Rocky movie, who's all grown up by now and works at the bar. I'm not sure if the interior scenes were shot here or at another location. Afterwards, Rocky gives her a lift home to her house where she lives where her son steps. Little Marie's house is located at 2745 Jasper Street in Philadelphia, which is only 200 meters from the Lucky 7 Tavern location. So you might say she didn't really need a lift. The blue house right there with the white door, that's where Little Marie and Steps lived in Rocky Balboa. Now the two houses on each side, as seen in the movie, are now gone but thankfully, the house we're looking for is still there. As you can see, the houses on each side of Little Marie's house are now gone. The house to the right was all burned down during filming, so that's obviously why it has been demolished. That was the locations from Rocky Balboa. Let's have a quick look at the two sequels, which is Creed from 2015 and Creed 2 from 2018. Again, we've already seen a lot of the locations from these movies as well, since many of them are also seen in the previous Rocky movies. The main character in this movie is Adonis Creed, the son of Apollo Creed, who goes to Philadelphia to train as a fighter. He befriends Rocky, who also ends up training him. When Adonis arrives in Philadelphia, he gets an apartment in the middle of the city. The apartment is located at 814 North Broad Street in Philadelphia, which is only 4 kilometers from Little Marie's house. Over there to the right, we have Adonis' apartment in Crete. Both the exterior scenes and the interior scenes were shot here at this location. But since it's a private residence, we couldn't get inside the apartment. The same location is also used as Adonis' apartment in Crete 2 from 2018. Let's move on to the next location. In this movie, Rocky lives yet again in another house. Maybe they weren't able to film at the same house as seen in Rocky Balboa from 2006. Anyway, Rocky's new house is located at 2504 Federal Street in Philadelphia, which is 4 kilometers from Adonis' apartment. The red building right there, number 2504, that's where Rocky lives in Crete. 
I'm gonna take you to this place called the Front Street Gym up in North Philly. It's pretty good. Okay. You gotta train there, because I don't want you to train in the same place as the guy is. You're gonna be fighting, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. No, don't get in. The same location is also used as Rocky's house in Creed 2 from 2018. That was the Rocky filming locations. We were able to track down most of them, at least the most iconic ones. The Rocky movies have always been very special to me, so it was quite fun to track down all these locations, and it felt like getting even closer to the story and the characters.